So what we're doing here, we're giving the frame a real good going over with the uh, degreaser because as you can imagine this frame has never been cleaned to this degree in its life. The last time it was this clean was when it was in the BMW factory, wherever that might have been. So I think these were made in Italy, but now I think they were all assembled in Italy. I don't think they were made in Germany, but uh, the last time this was this clean was when it was in the factory. So the plan is to just give this a good going over with a degreaser, jet blast it, and then give it a proper detailed going over. And if it needs any paint work redo the paint so that you can ultimately turn it into a pretty little thing and as you can see we get involved this does take a long while to work all the uh, the cleaning fluid into it but then the jet wash once we've got the jet wash on it the jet wash will get heavily involved in removing it. Incredible really how uh, dirty the frame gets in places that you don't normally see because obviously with everything in you don't see the, the accumulation of the dirt. But yeah, it's a gentle process. Quite satisfying when it's done because then you can enjoy the rebuild with a nice new frame this is only the first jet washer we'll probably have to give it another one but uh, the idea obviously is to see what it looks like F650 restoration continuation engine has been put on the floor on a uh, nice soft bit of carpet and then the frame has gently been lowered into position gently because you don't want to scratch anything and I fitted the lower bolt and the swinging arm bolt that's literally just to marry the two together and then what can be done then is the frame can be pushed down at the back end to allow the front of the engine to come up and then the engine frame the front cradle can be fitted with new bolts and then that can be bolted up and then the engine and the frame are reunited so lay out all the bolts ready i'm going to be doing this on my own you'd be better off if having somebody else with you there is the uh, frame cradle ready to go in underneath a restored footrest with its bolts ready to go through and now i'm going to lift the frame up install the cradle and hopefully it will look lovely Frame goes back, 
far as we can get it hold it back there and then feed the engine cradle into position and as you can see it's a little bit involved put the bolt in bolt goes in bolt goes in the bottom where the uh, footrest mounts that's it so that's located All a bit of a wiggle on the day. See how you just gotta feed the nuts and the washers into the position and everything will be tickety bow. That's why it's important not to do anything up at this moment, solid because you'll need that extra little bit of movement just to move everything around in order to get it located correctly so perfect 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 so after a morning's work on the bike this is what we've achieved fairing frame on lower yokes on wiring loom on foot rests painted cleaned up on lower frame on foot rest on the other side on gear lever on and basically <clears throat> a machine beginning to take place handlebars on top end done top cover Cleaned and painted, ready to go on. Fork leg done. Stand half painted. And the other fork leg in bits. And now on goes the cam box. Notice how the bolts look shiny as well and I decided to do the cam box in a um, metallic black I know it wasn't originally but I just thought it looked cool a detraction from stock because of desire get in there here is an update on what's been going on notice the forks and now in place having been cleaned new seals fresh fluid mud guard is on the two little side pieces of the mud guard have been painted because they were originally black somebody had painted them black 
they're supposed to be red the engine in the frame the carburetors have been attached so as the airbox we're actually in the process of connecting the wire in at the moment notice too the rear brake master cylinder has been done the shock absorber the Hagen shock has been taken apart reconditioned replaced sent stand has been cleaned up and basically have a lot's been done filming has mainly been a problem because of uh, we've had an incident of coronavirus in the family so I haven't been able to load up the way I normally would so a lot's been done without it being filmed so the bike certainly is rapidly taking shape and hopefully it means that when it's done it will look nice and it'll be a nice bike to ride restoration it's enjoyable because it's something to do something which doesn't involve watching rubbish on TV and let's face it anything on TV is fiction even if it goes as something ridiculous such as the news you can't get greater fiction than the news some people though actually believe it fit the battery box cut the bolts and then wrap the battery in the cover into position with the cover and the uh, starter solenoid start reconnecting the wiring then the uh, rear mudguard connected up with new bolts cleaned all up put the wiring in position ready to attach the CDI unit and the um, voltage regulator so basically she's coming on she's coming on